In this video, I'll show you how to inverse a matrix using the transformation method. This is part three of the series. The question reads, find the inverse of the matrix using the transformation method. So we're expected to find the inverse of this two by two matrix called B. And our goal is to make this matrix look like its identity matrix. So what I'll do is I'll rewrite this. And this is supposed to be converted into 1, 1, 0, and 0. This is its identity matrix. The first thing that I'll do to make this matrix look like its identity is attempt to make this element become 0. And the way I can do that is multiply row 2 by 3, row 1 by 2, and then subtract row 2 from row 1. Let me document that for you. Row 2 times 3 row 1 times 2, and then I'll subtract row 2 from row 1. And what this means for us is that row 1 will be the one that's being amended, while row 2 will remain the way it is. So I'll rewrite every element in row 2 since that won't change. And if I multiply row 2 by 3, this becomes 15, this becomes 6. That gives us, if we subtract row 1 minus row 2, we get negative 9. Once again, row 2 times 3, that's 6. And row 1 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 6 is 0. Row 2, here now, 0 times 3 is 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 minus 0 is 2. And for this last element, multiplying this element by 3 and multiplying 0 by 2 gives us negative 3. So we got this element to become 0. Now we have to make this into a 1, this into a 1, and that into a 0. My next target is this thing. And to target this element and to make it into a 0, what I'll do next is multiply row 1 by 5, row 2 by 9, then add row 2 to row 1. This row in particular will be the one that's changing, whereas row 1 will remain the way it is. So let's rewrite row 1 since it's not going to change. Negative 9, 0, 2, and negative 3. If I multiply row 1 by 5 and row 2 by 9 and add them up, I will get 0 here. If I multiply this element by 5, I get 0. And this element by 9, I get 18. 18 plus 0 is 18. Multiplying this element by 5 and this element by 9, I end up with 10. This element by 5 and this element by 9, then adding them up, that's like saying negative 15 plus 9, that is equal to negative 6. Now I have these two elements in the diagonal at 0. All I have to do now is make this negative 9 into a positive 1 and this 18 into a positive 1. And to do that, I'll take row 1 and divide it by negative 9. And I'll take row 2 and divide it by 18. If I do that successfully, negative 9 divided by negative 9 is equal to positive 1. 0 divided by negative 9 is still 0. 2 divided by negative 9 gives us negative 2 over 9. Negative 3 divided by negative 9 is positive 1 -third. Now, all of these elements will be divided by 18. That remains at 0. This becomes 1. This becomes 10 over 18, which reduces down to 5 over 9. And this element divided by 18 gives us negative a third. This matrix right here represents the inverse matrix for B. And there you have it. Another example on how to inverse a matrix using the transformation method.